Joining me now to discuss is Mesvin Taganu, Executive Chairman of the American Ethiopian Public Affairs Committee. Mesvin, there was a lot that went around these midterm elections. APAC had put together a list of candidates that people could vote for across the country. The day after elections, what are we to glean uh, from what the effort of APAC was? Thank you, Hermila, for uh, this opportunity. Uh, yeah. We have, uh, we have, we have. I would say we had a great day yesterday. Uh, today uh, we are looking at the results, and the results look uh, really very, very good as we as we want them to be. Most of APAC endorsed candidates uh, have won. Most of the most of the national office holders are uh, uh, have won. So that's. Uh, a big accomplishment and and i would like to say to all who went and votes all who participated who worked really hard to get uh, the information out and, and those who canvassed who, who who went door to door everybody and, and this is this is great accomplishment and uh, it, uh, we like to express our appreciation to everyone who has who has done their part and and you know i would like to say really Thank you for everybody because this is this was a hard work and people went out people went out and was so this is a good day now what does that mean it means uh, we have all of almost all APAC endorsed candidate in, candidates in and which means now we have a good opportunity to advance what we believe is a good pro Ethiopia pro Eritrea. Uh, uh, for that matter, pro Africa policies in the new in, in the new Congress. So that's just a great thing, a great accomplishment, and we are very happy about that. One of the issues that's been discussed among uh, Ethiopian, Eritrean Americans and the, the African diaspora in general, and as part of the broader national conversation, is whether or not Republicans would have sort of a landslide after people were frustrated with this current uh, Democrat administration. It doesn't look like that happened. So what does this mean for the efforts of APAC and when it comes to who to vote for, what party to vote for, and how to vote? Uh, actually... You know, the way this election went is exactly, you know, the way we want it to go. You know, a landslide would have been uh, uh, a situation that would, wouldn't necessarily have helped a minority voters like like uh, Ethiopian Americans, Eritrean Americans, or for that matter, you know, uh, in, uh, voters of African descent. A minority voter benefits when there is serious competition between candidates. And then when that serious competition is determined by few voice, few few votes, and at that time, you know your vote, how, however small it may be, matters. So we are actually, actually very happy. This wasn't a landslide. The Republicans are going to control uh, the, the the House. I think it looks like still, it could be fifteen, maybe. I don't think we, we don't know if they will have majority. It may not look like may not have a full majority. Uh, uh, to have uh, an absolute power to do whatever they want to do, but nevertheless they will have they will win. But it's not going to be. So what that what that what that what this means is now the two parties have to talk. There has to be a bipartisan deal or a bipartisan action that will come out of this Congress, and with that that is really what every voter should want. We we want the two parties to talk. We we don't want the extreme side of both the parties to dominate and and come up with uh, in rules and you know stuff that we have seen in the past few years, which is extreme. So this gives an opportunity for the American people to actually be served better. It actually it gives the Ethiopian American community a better opportunity to be heard. So I'm I'm happy that it's not a landslide. Uh, I'm really happy that. Uh, we uh, we have the House and the Senate in a, in a place where they have to pay attention to what we are saying uh, because they are just hanging on and any dissatisfaction from any of their communities, any of their const constituents can put them into a minority situation. So even that is good and I think that's how it should be in the future. The, the United States population should never, never allow 
one party to dominate because that's not how the system is supposed to do so to work the system is supposed to work with negotiation discussion bilateral conversation and having uh, legislation or for that matter any any kind of action that the government would like to take to be agreed upon by rational reasonable people who are elected to do their work so i'm i'm actually extremely happy that this wasn't a landslide so one of the races that stands out uh, from the perspective of Ethiopian Air Chain Americans and voters of African descent is the congressional race in New Jersey in which Tom Malinowski appears to have been voted out. He's one of the sponsors and co-author of sanctions bill hr 6600 a very draconian bill uh, that was targeting the ethiopian government during this uh war with the rebels there's now a peace deal but it's been around and it appears to still be in the house and he is the author is now voted out not to say that it was ethiopian Eritreans americans who who made that happen but what does it mean that somebody like that is no longer in congress it, it 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 means democracy works. It means you know uh, uh, rational actions prevail. It means you know not listening, b being a, a demagogue or being ideological and stubborn and not listening to your constants is a bad strategy. So we we you know we, when when the the congressman was reached by our by our constants, we have. We have done everything that we can to talk to him and to, to rationalize with him why the legislation that, that he pushed as a sponsor, as a, the main guy, was bad both for the United States and Ethiopia. We, we tried our best to talk to him. Uh, we tried to rationalize with him, but he was an ideologue. He, he, he believed in what he believed. In his mind, he, was saving, he is saving the Africans. He is saving, you know, he's one of those saviors who thought he's, he's doing the right thing and saving the, the continent. He honest, it looks like he honestly believed that and he wouldn't listen to any, any other uh, uh, point of view. So, <clears throat> you know, as, as your audience may remember, we, ha we really had to go and express our dissatisfaction. And that's where uh, one of the most effective demonstrations where we had to fly a plane on his district to get attention from his uh, uh, voters. There was a concerted effort to educate his constituents, to make sure that people who would vote for him not to vote for him, uh, and then to make sure that his uh, opponent was supported, endorsed by APAC, and we have tried to make sure that he understands he was, he was a better person, he has listened to our concerns. And, uh, and we wanted democracy to work, at it, and then it worked. It worked. So democracy always works if we if we participate. In this case, we are extremely happy that Malinowski is defeated, and uh, uh, and at this point, uh, uh, he's not going to come back in, in 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 the new year, which means his legislation probably has no, you know, will will have no unless he managed to pass it between now and December thirtieth. I, th I think you know he what 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 he has tried to accomplish is not going to come to fruition. So for years, and particularly the last two years of this war between the Ethiopian government and the rebels in the northern region of Tigray, we've seen several congressmen, many congressmen, including Malinowski uh, and, and others that are very vocal in their support of the rebel group narrative. Do you think or do you see any indications that there is a shift in Congress now that a peace deal has been signed between the government and the rebels and that peace deal appears to favor the Ethiopian government? government and that it restores constitutional order, which means the Ethiopian National Defense Forces will now be in control of the northern Tigray region where the insurgents have occupied for two years. So do you see a shift or is that something that uh, APAC is still going to be working on down the line? APAC is going to be working on down the line. Uh, th there is a shift, say, for example, uh, Congressman Mix, uh, 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 Gregory Mix has shown uh, a change of attitude. He feels that uh, the, the truth is something that is helpful for him to uh, change or to look to 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 be more open to 
the idea of uh, supporting uh, the uh, pro Ethiopia initiative. He is a significant player in this. Uh, he is a chairman of uh, the uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, in the current Congress. And then even if the if the Congress if even if the uh, Congress was to flip, he will be the minority chair. So he still will, will be powerful. Or uh, so. Uh, so we have seen that, which is significant, which is very significant because he's a very important player. We would have to continue to work. We would have to educate. We ha we have to get the information because people really we, we shouldn't assume they read or they even know that there is a, a, a peace deal. So the people who the uh, the leaders who are uh, who have been against Ethiopia or supported some sanctions and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we'll have to reach out to them and, and work as hard as we can to make sure that they understand that that, that action is obsolete. It's, it's outdated now. They have to rethink their strategy. It's the fact that we have over close to 30 friends now in Congress is going to help through that. Another race that, you know, may be outdated by the time we, we, we air this, but maybe you have uh, some updated information on is the, the mayoral race in Los Angeles, which Ka Karen Bass is uh, competing against Rick Caruso. Karen Bass was on the House Foreign Relations Committee. It's a very close race. Is she somebody that APAC had endorsed? Yeah, we, we supported her campaign. We didn't uh, uh, go out officially campaign uh, for, for her. Uh, we have supported her her campaign and uh, the APAC uh, California uh, chapter did not ask for uh, official endorsement at this point but uh, we wish her luck and we hope she would uh, she would win that uh, that uh, competition yeah it's, it's it's a very very tight race it looks like uh rick caruso is, is is holding a little bit of a lead right now but um we'll find out in due time just last question lesson learned for the american ethiopian public affairs committee moving forward yeah well um several w w one is you know we picking uh a, a race in in states that matter pays off the strategy was effective so we'll continue to do that uh to um in you know uh, to uh, to to get getting the message out to Amer ethiopian americans to to vote and to friends of ethiopian americans in an organized manner also is essential uh we have done the best we can in during this election but there will be more more strategic uh, actions and more uh, technologically uh, savvy uh, activities that we need to do in the future, so which we'll, we will. And then, and then, and then third, it, it really, we have said this again and again, it don't think your votes don't matter. Even if you are like 100 people living in some, you know, North Dakota, it really matters. Most of these elections, as you guys see, is determined by hundreds of thousands of voices, uh, votes a few thousands of votes sometimes so let's just let's keep this in mind we have a great day yesterday it's a good day for ethiopian americans eritrean americans uh but we have to keep we have to understand that we have to get engaged and we have to continue to 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 believe that our 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 voice matter because it does we have seen this i mean you know in georgia for example you know, if 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 one of them got about ten thousand Ethiopian American votes, this, this this game this vote would have been over, uh, but they didn't. So we don't know what happened there. Still, so they they have gone into a runoff, and then we'll see what happens. So is that is that the senatorial race? Yeah, senatorial race. Yeah. Between Warnock and uh, Herschel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So so get engaged. Congratulations, everyone, for uh, you know get, go, going out and voting. And uh, let's let's keep this going. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mesvin Taganu, Executive Chairman of the American Ethiopian Public Affairs Committee. Thanks so much. See you soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Armi.